Last week, an occupational health and safety officer visited Saskatoon's Royal Hospital's emergency room. They found and noted three hazards that were harmful to workers due to overcapacity. Well, while they commented on that being an unsafe work environment for the workers, it's clearly unsafe for the patients as well. The health officer was told by management that when 19 people are admitted with no beds, the hospital is overcapacity. There are at least 60 patients in that situation. This contravention is just a symptom, right, of a huge collapse of our healthcare system. Tracy Zamburi says the issue is chronic understaffing and a lack of primary healthcare providers. And Dennis Kendall says he doesn't believe there are enough beds. This isn't the first time overcrowding in Saskatoon hospitals has led to calls for change. The Saskatoon Capacity Pressure Action Plan published last November was meant to resolve issues like these. The Saskatchewan Health Authority says it's added more than 250 staff and at least 40 permanent inpatient beds. The SHA says it expects high capacity in hospitals, and that's not unique to Saskatoon or Saskatchewan. I think our goal here is to, through our, the investments in the Saskatoon Capacity Action Plan and the initiatives that we have underway, is to reduce um, the, uh, the frequency of when we see those overcapacity uh, peaks. Ash says the goal is also to reduce the intensity. He says the SHA is also working to move the people it can to long-term care homes or to hospitals closer to their homes. That's because Ash says about a third of hospital patients come from other communities and need specialized care. The issues at the Royal University Hospital have to be remedied by November 1st alongside a progress report given to the provincial government. Dane Patterson, CBC News, Saskatoon.